Pack's got like what five first pickables? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, there's fourth in there as well. Fourth might be the most winning of them. I'm kind of in the mood to mana crypt. I'll take Lotus anyway. Oh my god. I still have not had a winning record with the Storm Dank. Should we jam it anyway? Y'all gotta admit, this is a good start. With this strategy, I have not managed to win with it all. It's a very good start for it. This is the time. Do you rid of a Chrome Mox in your Yogg-Will deck? Every time. Every time, HK. Dark Ritual, Black Lotus, and Lion's Eye Diamond. If you've got a Yogg Moss Will in your deck, if this is what you're doing, the, those are the, the, the three actual best cards. There's a Brain Freeze here as a win con. There's also an Imperial Seal. I'm going to take the Brain Freeze. Sometimes you can Brain Freeze yourself before you Yogg's Will, like juice up the graveyard. Uh, Sure. We go down a T cruise. Hell yeah, bands with legends. Mm. Not a bad start. You're not wrong. Yeah, we're missing an LED, and we're missing some tutors and uh, and the tendrils. Some fixing and some cantrips. Maybe we'll get some actual mox in in the next packs. Palantir is a lot slower than the rest of this. I guess ritually and out in turn one isn't crazy. I'd much rather have like a Phyrexian Arena, something that's actually inconsistently drawing me cards, but we'll see. Binning cards can be fine too, right? When the Yogmoss will deck. Unless they're binning the will. Yeah, we got treasure cruise to film. Rodrigo E. Gabriella was very fun to see live. Hopefully I'm not doing this shit. I wonder if grabbing off-color surveil lands is good in a deck like this. My experience with um, High Tide and Bubbling Muck has been really poor so far. So hopefully I don't have to end up doing that shit. Really don't want Shallow Grave. I guess I'll grab this. Consider is kind of perfect. Ooh, cantrip action. We'll fill up the graveyard action. Oh, I love that, Mark. This is the third storm deck of the season, man. Maybe fourth. Oh, yeah, this is the fourth. They haven't won very much. A draw seven would be nice. But LED, go their fast mana, other rituals. Always play well with Yogmoth's will. And some tutors to find the will. This one's got the juice. I think you're right, Eric. I think this is the one. Breach. Yeah, ideally we don't have to play Breach, but it would make the deck better. I'm just thinking about my mana, you know? Got that extra strain. But it is a lot better than Yogg's Will. With Brain Freeze specifically. Yeah, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if the, the second part of your comment is true, Diluted Fruitcake. Just that, like, Storm's Nut Draw is pretty, pretty great. Better than aggro's nut draw. I've definitely had storm decks that like kill by turn two consistently. Breach is indeed in the cube, yes. It'd be weird to talk about it otherwise, huh? You can turn three with aggro in this cube. Absolutely. Ooh, hello, Chrome Max. The seal came back. That's exciting. Those are some good signs. You do not need a hero blade hold to turn three people all HK. Like, you can kill someone turn three with a Monastery Swiss Spear. Banger of a first pack, yeah. A 
I wonder if I can wield that LED and take Shieldred here. Shieldred's so good. Tinker's very good if we find Citadel. We don't currently have Citadel, but there's not much else here that really appeals to me, so I'm going to take it. I'm going to spec on it. Citadel's very good in Storm. Yeah, I would not risk LED uh, for like just a good card, but Shieldred's a great card. It's like a top 20 Vintage Cube card. The Greed is real. Even if... LED does not wheel. There's a chance Shielder wins you more games. I don't think Greed is the right term. Yeah, exactly, Dagon Crow. And maybe we can pair it with Draw Sevens, which we want to play in this deck anyway. Speaking of... Yeah, hard to pass these duels. But we're going to take this Time Spiral. Now that we got Shielded, huh? Makes sense. Time Spiral is just a great Storm card anyway. Real pleasant to have a draw seven, so after your opponent's like stripped your hand, you've got something to draw into and just win. You think Shelly's this crazy good just to Lotus out, right? Yeah, just Lotus out Shieldred, Dark Ritual out Shieldred. It's already really good here, was my thought. That's what I was thinking too, Dagon Crow. Like, we like we got that Imperial Seal on the wheel. I don't think there's going to be a ton of other decks that even want the LED. But it's not the end of the world if it doesn't come back to Yeah, I think I'm taking High Tide here. I haven't loved it, but it is good with Time Spiral. Well, there's Breach, hum. Yeah, Breach already works in this deck because we have Brain Freeze and Black Lotus. But it would get a little bit better if the LED did wheel. It would also get a little bit better if we just had more fixing. A smidge worried about my mana base now. You're never happy playing Lindell's Vault? Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I think that card's dog shit. If, when people try and play that, tried to play that card in Legacy back in the day, I was always like, why? <laughs> why are you playing like a worse impulse? The Talisman's nice. If we do end up playing the Tinker, it's an artifact to sack. And it's good fixing, right? It gives me black and red mana. Is Bergy crazy? Well, the more red cards you add, the more things that can go wrong. Like, if you become a three-color deck, your mana is so much worse than two base colors with a light splash. We would really like to keep red as light of a splash as possible. We want to play as many islands as possible for our time spiral. And we already have double black cards. This is just not my pack, hum. Oh, Bergy's certainly playable. This is not worth splashing for him. Lyris and Black Lotus is sweet. We're just going to take Tendrils here. A little backup Storm Wincon. I really don't like companioning your Lurus. I don't think it helps you very much in Storm. Not in a format where you don't have like a bunch of Moxen to run out. It's pretty awkward. I'd much rather just like have it normal. Urborg is fine, yeah. No LED, but I'm not the end of the world. Wish Claw Talisman came back. That was also a pack that had two pieces of fixing for us, though. Yeah, with Tinker here, we still want uh, Bolas's Citadel. And we want fixing. But we're doing pretty well on... Um, Everything else. I think it sucks, Lionheart. There's an outside chance I end up playing it, but I don't think it's as good as just like actually playing a tutor. So my twist is good against counter spell decks. It's pretty bad against aggro and such. There's a tar pit here which helps with the mana. I don't think it wheels. I guess I'll draft it. I guess I just take Bobble here. Seed Shark's not like a bad backup plan. Still holding out hope that we find a Citadel. Maybe Valk is better. Well, Marsh Flats can already get the Raucous Theater. And maybe we still find an Underground Seam. Okay. 
Really don't need Aether Flux here. That is helpful. Think about Knight's Whisper versus Sheldock Isle. Dislike that it's adding another comes to play Tapland. We have some really nice imprints. Lotus Petal is like another ritual with uh, with Breach and Wilm. Is Expressive Iteration good enough to play here? Hey, the Tar Pit came back. Yet another comes to play Tapland. Yeah, not looking like a great high tide deck. Might cut it. When you have like one duel or whatever, it's not the worst. <clears throat> but the Chromonx is also not helping. It would have helped a lot if we gotten another island duel for Marsh Flats. You think this is the best Storm deck so far? I think this deck is very similar to the the first one that I won tutored with. That was also a Dark Ritual Black Lotus Yogg's Will deck with some tutors and such. No, I didn't want Manamorphos. I've talked a lot about how I don't want this to be like a heavy splash. I don't want to be dedicated three colors. If I can't even play my Rituals without having red, that's dedicated three colors. You don't want cards trapped in your hand, right? And if those cards, like, take you a few turns to play, they need to, like, fucking win the game, which Breach does. And I'm hesitant about whether Iteration does, but sometimes it's really good at grinding. Like, it was a big call on whether to even play it here. My longest streak ever. My longest win streak ever was 38 matches, but it was not in Vintage Cube. It was in Caleb Gannon's Cube. I think I like Prism here. Helps us cast Citadel or gives us another thing to tinker away. Ideally, the second one, Alicia Red. What kind of questions that? Why are tap lands good better than usual here? They are not. I don't like tap lands ever. I don't like them better than usual here. You imprint onto Sheldock Isle, right? It may not literally be imprint, but. Hmm. Think about cutting that expressive. We did get another red source for the Pentad Prism. This is such a good card. What about Cyborg Mind Twist? Can we beat a counter spell ever? <laughs> exactly peaceful. <laughs> Yeah, Inquisition hits some counters, but you're not like guaranteed to draw it, right? Let's see, we have two tutors between Imperial Seal and Witchclaw. Expressive like filters while giving you card advantage and helping you hit land drops though. It's kind of a step above. Baleful could be sideboard, but I've really liked having a removal spell to tutor for. Like if you've got a creature that's breaking you, it's like the worst thing ever. When you have all these tutors, you can just like find it and find it when you need it. Not die, you know. I would prefer if it was a sweeper, but a removal spell is better than nothing. Treasure Cruise is awkward with Breach. Yeah. Let's see, it was shielded, though. I kind of buy that. I kind of buy that. It's expensive with Citadel, and it is eating up the graveyard for Will and Breach. I buy your reasoning. I might not like it, because Treasure Cruise is amazing. So we're not playing the high tide. How many sources of what do we need here? Well, the earboard helps a lot, huh? This would be 10 black sources. I think we can even go lower with the earboard. And if I play another island, it's only seven bloom. Yeah, we need more blue, right? Go up to eight. Our mana's good. 
You supposed to keep in like this? Probably not. I guess the theater's filtering. Yeah, I guess if the theater's a cantrip, I keep. Card in the bin for breach. Turn six times spiral. God, I hope not. So, should I scoop the match? Like, <laughs> what are we doing here? I'm not actually about to scoop. Can I win? I don't do that. What top decks get us back in? Well, we're not currently behind. People are always, like, really focused on, like, drawing, like, one super card that fucking brings you back in and wins you the game and stuff. Most magic games are, like, both players drawing spells that do not do that, right? You draw a cantrip, it puts a card in the yard. You draw an expressive iteration, puts a card in the yard. Eventually you draw a Yogg's Will. You draw a Ritual, it sits in your hand for a while. There's going to be a long series of draws if we're going to win this game. Oh, shoot, what up? Hey, Mr. Burgundy, thanks for 49 months. No, I was just being sardonic. Can I win? Just letting you know that I'm not actually going to scoop on from a turn one grief or whatever. You want to board in, cut down against your opponent's reanimator deck just in case they reanimate grief again? If all they do is reanimate a grief and attack you for like 10 turns or whatever, I guess 10 turns is a lot, but you know what I mean. This is not the worst, as we both like make land drops. We getting remanded? We are, okay. How do I deal with game loss salt? Oh, I usually <clears throat> accost a stranger in the street. Sometimes I'll go to a place of business and make a, a random employee's day a living hell. How about you? How do you handle game loss salt? You drive a couple streets over and bang on people's doors. Love that. And then when they come to answer, you're like, not there. Does it make you feel like a big man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always feel so small after my days of losing at Magic the Gathering. And then I gotta go belittle somebody. It's made me feel huge. Get my very, my very um, fragile ego back in order. Hey, Tavaru, thanks for the sub, thanks for the 16 months. Cheers. Tavaris is, handles Game Loss Salt by subscribing to their favorite MTG streamer. And you can too! With Twitch Prime, hashtag ad. <laughs> you eat your feelings? Yeah, that's my actual answer, Mr. Ficito. I do a lot of that. I had a rough day a few days ago, and I, like, ordered McDonald's when I got done streaming. <laughs> I was just like, I'm going to order one of all these... All these things, and I'm going to eat all of it. The fucking McDonald's. Midnight McDonald's order. Hey, Margo Fire. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for the 10 months. Margo got a month of free prime, and now Caleb gets a sub. Stealing from the man. <laughs> Hell yeah, Margo. Not letting that go to waste. What am I eating? I'm eating a taco bowl. It's like all the ingredients that you'd have on a taco. I put it in a difficult turn, right? They had to decide what to take with grief. 
what they might take on the um, the rebuy grief and what they were going to vamp tutor for. Plus, their deliberation gave me time to finish my, my food. So, kind of a perfect, perfect little snack break. And you all got to watch me finish eating my food and having a good time with that. <laughs> Which is probably just as enjoyable as a game of magic. Hey, Tashi Sam, thanks for the sod, thanks for the two months. Yeah, let's fucking go. Ah, hot damn, that's good tea. Yeah, I've been ordering this uh, this Silk Road brand tea in bulk. And I've been so happy with it. Hmm. Currently, what we're missing is a ritual and a Yagmoth's will. Ideally, two rituals. So this fourth fours me down to ten, and the next turn the attack for seven. So we do have another turn after this. That said, I don't know if we've got live draws now. Because Yogg's Will doesn't do it with our graveyard. Like, this is the turn that we were like, is there a draw to get us out of this? <laughs> this is maybe the turn to start thinking about that sort of thing, huh? Especially if it actually impacts your lines of play. But yeah, in a storm deck where you need multiple spells in a turn in order to win the game, it's very rare that you just have one draw like that. I think that Cruise needs to come in and Mind Twist needs to come out. Yeah. This is enough artifacts for Tinker, right? Like, barely enough. We have seven. Could play Blood Tithe Harvester and get one more. I think this is fine. Uh, Limnol's Vault is card disadvantage. I don't recommend boarding in card disadvantage cards against this card. You notice how I boarded in a card that's card advantage. You may have pieced together that that is a strategy that I encourage against discard spells. This hand's not even crazy because the Marsh Flats gets the Surveil Land. And then if they don't discard spell, you turn one, you can iteration, use that to hit land drops. I kind of dig it. Closer to dig, even closer to the treasure cruise, yeah. Yep, yeah, that's part of it. Is that, like, we just have a lot of cards going to the bin for the T cruise as well. You think Mind's Desire is too much mana? Well, what are you trying to, like, Dark Ritual into if you're not, <laughs> if you don't have any payoffs? Nice thing about Mind's Desire is if you can only get a storm of, like, five or six... Still has a very good chance of winning you the game. The opponent did have a lot more to think about than us, Will. We, they actually played tutors. We didn't play any tutors. This game, this start is going pretty well. Interesting. So the expressive whiffed on land, but hitting that second land was so much more important. We we still got a little lucky to hit there when we needed it. And now one mana gets me up to Citadel or what have you. You wanted to self-brain freeze there and then play Treasure Cruise? Could have. Could have done that. Casting Treasure Cruise with the Chrome Host in play is pretty good. Could still do that line. I kind of don't hate playing Shieldred. I was hoping I would just hit a land and be able to sit it all. I'm going to bobble myself here. It's a little mopey, but I'm just going to attack. 
draw my card, activate my incubator. If I bobbled self and saw a non-land, then I probably would have done the brain freeze treasure cruise line. Maybe I'm not activating incubator. Maybe I play brain freeze here. One, one issue with self brain freezing is that we do only have Yogg's will and, and breach in a draw seven. Like there's a chance we lose our win cons. Interesting. Uh, I'm doing it. Kind of a bad spot, huh? Because the Crocus dismounts shielded. We've drawn a lot of cards here, and the Black Lotus is the only ritual we've seen. I guess Dark Rituals are only other ritual. We really need either uh, Yogg's Will or... Oh, hey. Dark Ritual helps. Dark Ritual helps a lot. Yeah, we don't need a very large Tendrils, right? They're at 9. We can attack them down to 7. They actually can't attack us with everything. Well, they shocked. Interesting. We'll see what we have, Tashi Sam. There's no need to cook out lines where we might where we don't know what they're dressing yet, right? I'll take the Dark Ritual, like what they did, Abby. Yeah, the Thraven can't serve, because otherwise my 8-8 incubator, uh, incubator token just clears them. Removal spell off the top would do it. Yogg's Will or Breach off the top would do it. We only have 12 cards here. Blocking is rough because the troll's got triple menace. So on board, I can activate two incubation tokens and triple block troll and take five and go to one. And that's assuming that they haven't ripped like a removal spell or something. Not a comfy spot. You could hit them, draw a card, and hope to draw um, Baleful Mastery because that's still in the deck. But that's a one in 11. Yeah, Silver Bale Bale Baleful Mastery doesn't quite work. I think our best line is just pass. Just pass, lose to anything. Feels pretty bad. Talisman and tendrils isn't playable, etc. Talisman costs two, and then you tap it for a mana, and you only have three mana towards tendrils. Land double animate. The only way you see us living till next turn. Well, you can attack with the chrome host, and then you get the monarch, and then you get a monarch draw. Which is unlikely to get there, but it would like 8 or 9% of the time or something. <clears throat> we would gain 2 Tom Bomb Man, but then they would just tap their Crocus and bounce Shielded, so you wouldn't be able to block. So you'd be at 8 life, and you'd be taking 11 damage. God, my deck is so stacked right now. Dogmoth's Will and Breach in there.
I'm just gonna play Tendrils and Pass here. And you could serve with the shark to make sure you have lethal next turn, but we have lethal just resolving citadel next turn. I think we're fine just passing. The re a removal spell no longer kills me here. Because we gain life from tendrils, we're at 10. So we can take a troll hit now. They do have a remand in their deck, so tapping out for citadel might be risky. We do not need a land to play a citadel because we play the talisman this turn. The Talisman that also juiced up the Tendrils a little bit. And then we have a 1 in 5 chance of destroying Breach or, um, or Yogg's Will next turn. Yeah, let's see. Tinker's in there. Tinker's a dead draw. How many lands? We got 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We played 15. So there's 3 lands left. 3 lands. Baleful Mastery. Yogg's Will, Breach, Tinker. God, how troll would that time spiral be? That game was kind of intense, huh? It was looking really good, and then it was looking really bad, and then we, and then we just got to win. That Seed Shark managed to buy me enough time. Them not attacking was an interesting line. If they attack, if they attack all in Scoot's Nest, we triple block their 6-5, and it dies, and then they die on the crackback. So then once they're not attacking all in, because they don't want to put themselves dead on board, any other attack just loses material, right? If they didn't have anything, it was correct for them to not attack. Subtlety doesn't hit fourth, but I don't think pitch casting subtlety is the best answer to grief. So I don't know what subtlety is doing. Opponent's reanimating stuff. The opponent had Caracas and Shielder was still good that game. I'm going to leave Shielder in. They won't necessarily draw it. We still stormed to win. We did, yes. <laughs> what about Whiskey in the Jar, Bushi? Has that song made a good comeback? That was his last one in Lucia Red. We didn't have children in the first game. Do you think... Dragon Bear, do you think Whiskey in the Jar was as popular 30 years ago as it was, like, 200 years ago, though? I think it made a comeback. Now this is an open, interesting opener. Hey, closing time. Thanks for the three months. Cube Man gets paid! That's me, I'm Cuban. I don't have red for breach. I'd love to like dump my hand and brain freeze self here, but we currently don't have red for breach. Dark Ritual's a really awkward imprint with us only having one ritual too. But I don't want to draw that tendrils. <laughs> nice mill all my red sources. Theater, Talisman, Prism. There's a Black Lotus in there still. Yeah, if we rip a land, we can Talisman for Black Lotus. Use that to play Breach and win. That's true, there's a Lotus Petal too. That is a huge bummer. <laughs> If the Consider can find either the Removal Spell or the Black Lotus, then the Talisman can go get the other one and I can still win here. 
God damn it. No, Tinker's a bad drum. Treasure Cruise would be a hot rip here. I guess we chill. Yeah, the big one big issue here is the Dark Ritual being under Chrome Mox. It's pretty rough. Makes Yogg's Will a lot worse, right? It means we almost need Dark Ritual. Or, I'm sorry, not Dark Ritual, but uh, Black Lotus. We don't have that one yet. Perfect. I don't love this opening, but I think like Seal for Black Lotus turn two shield might do something. And our backup plan of just like casting Palantir is pretty good. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't work, Elusha Ren. This ain't like bad, mat bad matchup is like a cope mechanism. This is going to give me a rant at you. <laughs> it's just gonna get me to pontificate. Oh yeah, well, I'm actually not sure if I should be turn one shield rating or turn one palantiring. Does my ranting at chat make me feel better? <laughs> It appears I have found the correct line. Okay. Yeah, I think they're um, they're blue green draw seven, so that's why they scooped a shield in. That one's a little slow for me here. Yeah, we're looking for Dark Ritual or uh, Black Lotus. Play the Shieldred on turn two again. Sure. Black Lotus and Dark Ritual will also pair well with the, the Will into Citadel or what have you. Uh, I don't think they scooped a Shieldred this time. They've got, like, Retrofitter. They've got... Like, they're currently winning the race. I'm not drawing four lanes in a row, hum. Kind of need to play the shielded, but playing shielded into a counter spell doesn't help things.
Well, we already saw Days. I wasn't worried about that one. I played this Black Lotus very confidently, and I'm like, hmm. They do have Lethal. Just turning a Servo into a 4-4. Four -four. I guess that's only 8. Storm count is three. So we hit them for four and then Yogg's will it back. This is plenty. Don't even need to self mill with the brain freeze here. Oko is interesting. There's a Dark Ritual in the deck, right? Just like triple checking. I know not a balloon. You gotta you gotta cut that out, not a balloon. Please cut it the fuck out. <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to be polite about stuff. Really? I can cast a card in my hand. Mm. Yay. All right, we won one match. One match out of three with Storm. If we can win this next one, then I'm going to call that a Storm trophy, a Storm 3-0. Hey, Kai Storm, thanks to the sod, thanks to the 75 months. I believe that Storm has been good in Vintage Cube before. I actually think cutting a lot of the like the Mana Flare type stuff removed your ability to to combo with it consistently. But there's also just the fact that you know everything else has improved, whereas the Storm cards haven't gotten much better except for Breach. Did the article talk about why they undertuned Storm? What do you mean by undertuned? Are you saying that they like purposely nerfed it? They would like Storm to be good. They did not intentionally make Storm bad or anything. We do not have a target for a tinker besides Citadel. Sometimes you might tinker for Black Lotus. Because, again, we're trying to rebuy Black Lotus. Hey, the cat is Mari. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for 50 months. The cat says they never managed to catch the stream live. So they always forget how long they've been subbed. Here's to 50 months of beer and beard. A bear and beard. Yeah, to 50 months, cat. Elemental interruption is interesting. I tried to leak with it the other day. I got, like, a game win off of it. I also, like, lost to a sweeper after making four four fours on, like, turn three or four. I really hate this Chrome Mox not giving me blue mana here, but I think I got to jam it. We're just more likely to draw land to jam Shieldred next turn than we are to draw something that I want to imprint on Chrome Mox. Gross. <laughs> Mind twist. Hit two lands. <laughs> They're like, yep, that's fine. Oh, well. Well, they haven't played a red source yet. But I think they've been to one of those mountains from the the lush maybe they've been the mountain because they fucking had the other mountain in their hand though yeah they just missed their land drop i don't think the seal tutors for anything right could go get like creeping tar pit actually tar pit might be sick the next turn we play tar pit opens up like blue outs when the opponent's at 12, like we draw another um, blue source, the tar pit might help close out an opponent, Tom. Currently, a mountain doesn't do much for me. It's just breach. So I'd get a black lotus instead of a mountain. 
and then just like pray, I guess. Hey, much love, Bellicorm. Yeah, nothing wrong with giving me shit for slip ups. If I'm ever a salty baby about it, then that's uh <laughs> that's on me, huh? <laughs> Mr. Burgundy, thanks for the sub, thanks for the pity months, the big 5 0. A random two subversary day. Hell yeah. We did not see much out of the opponents. We saw that, that like one artifact removal spell and a bunch of Nihilands. I'm going to play a cut down over a mind twist. I think it's going to be more live. So we get Dark Ritual out Shielded next turn. I think I'd rather have a Black Lotus in my graveyard, though. If I find Breach or Yogswell. So I'm just going to grab Black Lotus anyway. And then I can play Theater alongside Shielded next turn. That should be fine. What do you think the odds are of Mana Tithe? Is that something I should play around? I guess I will. It's card I'd have in against Storm. Next turn we can go Wishclaw Talisman, Rockus Theater. If they tie with Wishclaw, that's like a little bit less of a feel bad. Fair enough. Wishclaw Talisman's not really the ideal tutor here. Kind of need a cantrip here or something. So we go Wishclaw Talisman for Dark Ritual, Yogg's, Dark Ritual, Yogg's Will, Flashback, Dark Ritual, Black Lotus, Imperial Seal, and then cantrip into the Seal target. But we also already have Tendrils. Yeah, maybe I should have done some math on that with them at 18. Tutor Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual, don't have the mana for many Tendrils. Yeah, this is not enough, right? Just not enough Storm with them at 18. Hey, Dr. Blondie, these are 52 months. Dr. Blondie says, hope you're enjoying some of that sick Vintage Cube action. I am. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Well, at least they're not tied binding this Wish Claw. You think this music is out there? Musically out there? Little weird, bruh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, shit, it, what up? Hey, Toby Maru, things the fourteen months, the the two. <laughs> What's happening with my brain here? The 14 months! Appreciate the sub. Appreciate the support. Yeah, the shield are getting to connect there. Makes this a lot easier. We won with Storm, kind of. Look at that. We went two and one. The best Storm record of the season on the fourth attempt. Hmm. 
Not the worst pack one pick one black lotus. 